Hey everybody, I am back. It's been a while and I wanted to come on and pop on uh, to say hi and that I'm still here. I've been on a brief pause, uh, finishing up some things. I finished a, um, a semester of a certificate program that I was in and I wanted to make sure that I gave myself a little pause and also um, some rest and always just, not that I'm always going, but sometimes we just need to stop. But I realized this is the second year I am in 2022. I started this uh, YouTube channel in 2020 during the pandemic. So I am still normalizing consistency and discipline. I've been going on challenges the end of last year and this year, and I didn't want to stop. So I am coming back on so that you know I'm still here. I'm flipping through my book right now, actually doing some reflection and I pulled out my book, um, Finding a Space in Life, where I fearlessly journey to face the past to design a better future. That's what the book uh, was all about. And I'm actually um, sharing a little bit more because I'm sharing a little bit more in a different way because I realized I I did something that was a, a a big thing. A lot of people have not written a book, and I'm not comparing myself to people who have not. But I realized uh, for myself that there are certain things that I minimize of myself. So as I said, I was reflecting and doing some self-reflection. I acknowledge that Jasmine, you self-published a book. That was pretty cool. And I realized I went on a webinar. And the young lady asked, why did you publish your book? Or why did you write a book? And I've been thinking about that. And I realized I wrote this book because, um, one, it wasn't it. It was a suggestion by a mentor. But I wrote this book so that I could have a framework for myself to live a healthier life. And as I was going through, I said, you know, you actually wrote down what you meant to say. And you said what you said. So... I'm going to read it. I read a lot of books and I realize I read what other people say. So I'm going to read what I said. On page 25, it says, learning good and healthy life skills have been, has been a lifestyle shift for me. I understand that success and failure come from daily choices that I make. The ultimate responsibility lies within the realm of the individual influence. The reason that I endeavor in this work is a firm belief that it is possible to create the life that one desires. And I said that the Healthy by Design HBD concept has motivated me to become the, an architect of my life. Wow. I have implemented the HBD concept into my life as a model to benchmark growth and personal development, external validation, by popular opinion no long no longer directs my inner world implementation implementing this truth has been a major source of freedom for me creating in or redesigning a healthy lifestyle is possible wow and i do i do pause in that and i'm documenting this for myself uh because I'm still in this work and I'm still in this process and I am moving forward in a deeper level in a deeper way for myself and for my legacy and when I say legacy yes I am still believing that there is a, a love legacy for me and my family and my future family so this is one thing that I have on page 28 I'm going to share the lessons learned the past is what it is, and I cannot change it. But what I can do is to look at it with an open heart and, under and an understanding mind. It will not be an easy thing to do. The road won't always be clear, but the path to freedom has been walked on and achieved by others. It is up to me to decide what type of life I want to live. Once I make the decision, taking deliberate action is my daily choice. Good can come from situations that are not good, but it won't happen accidentally or automatically. Time will continue to move forward. The way that I use my time is totally within my control, but it does not mean that I won't experience injustice, 
setbacks or challenging times. What I can prepare myself for is the fight that it takes many times to live healthy and free. Wow. As I sit here in 2022, I am encouraging myself and I'm encouraging you too. Don't give up on your healthy lifestyle, not simply your health and your physical body, but the six, the six places, your emotions, your finances, your physical body, um, your relationships, your spiritual, your vocational career and or your business. I'm saying that to you because I'm saying it to me and I'm documenting it for myself because Jasmine is not giving up on Jasmine. Even this book, I bought the, um, <laughs> the author's copy. That's what I have for myself. And I am going to uh, put my book in the description box because I am going and I am planning on uh, writing a second book. It is what I'm living now and it's what I ultimately started off in doing. The reason why I'm sharing this today is because I'm challenging myself to continue to be seen, to continue to show up for Jasmine, continue to live a full, healthy life. When it's clear and when it's not, when it's easy and when it's hard, when it's seemingly impossible and when everything is at ease, I know that my strength, one, is in the Lord. And then two, I know that he's given me the power, um, the power to live an abundant and a healthy life. And then three, I know that I have to believe that so that I can live it and become it. So in this space that's created, in the environment that's created, where healthy relationship skills can be learned, developed, practiced so that they can ultimately thrive, I'm letting you know that that's what I'm doing for myself. I'm not pointing my finger at you and saying this is what you should do. I'm saying that this is a, a lifestyle that I've chosen to live and even two years later with talking about books and I'm putting my own out there because I realize, like Jasmine you read a lot of other people's books but you actually wrote a book look at you and you're going to write another one um yeah so you are worthy you are worth it and I want you uh to know that and I'm telling myself that too because guess what I don't want you to look at uh, me and say hey she said it for me and I didn't believe it for me. So I'm doing it for me. And I, I encourage you to do that for you too. So until next time, I do have some interviews that I'm excited to share. One with my mentor and another one with the author. Go figure. And there are other people out there that I'll probably be reaching out to you. Even if you, um, I don't know you, um, I am going to push myself in a healthy way to connect with beautiful people, continuing to connect with beautiful people, and to continue to put out uh, healthy content for, for the masses. And the masses are the, each individual and each individual that shows up. So that's all I have today. And until next time, be you, be beautiful, and be courageous. See you later.